Um, and I mean, what even is this situation right here? Hey everybody, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And it is so good to be back in the studio. I hope you all had a great Christmas. I have like the world's biggest backlog of dolls to get through. So we're just gonna jump in. We're gonna jump around in, in different whatever I'm grabbing uh, today. And I'm gonna try and do a whole bunch of videos for you before I have to go uh, pick up some stuff at the doctor's office for my mom. My mommy continues to get better and that's awesome. So today we are reviewing LOL OMG Travel Series Fly Girl. And the reason we are starting with Fly Girl is because Britney, bitch. That's why this doll is to me very obviously an homage to Britney Spears. Now I usually get these things wrong when it comes to the LOL OMG, well in general, right? Because my, they're not made for my age group. Okay, so it says open over here. We know I'm gonna mess that up, right? Um, they're not made for my age group, so it, it they're going to be referencing people that maybe I'm not even familiar with, uh, you know, that don't exist. Okay, so I've done that, and now I'm supposed to pull this. Woo! I actually did it. I did it without struggle. Wow. Now, what's going on in here? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, maybe I was supposed to, I think I was supposed to do something else. <laughs> what a surprise! What a surprise. Let's wait, let's, we'll put it back. We'll pretend that didn't happen. Okay, so, but I do recognize this as Britney Spears. Wait, let me stick her back in here. Let's do it again. Wait, wait, here we go. This is what it's supposed to look like, parents. If you do this properly, or your children will be much better. So you're gonna open it up and ta-da! Oh, that's much better. That's actually really cool. Oh, look at that, and there's the jet. They're like, Psst, by the jet, by the jet. Uh, oh, she's cool. Right now, these dolls are available on Target.com. Oh, she's cute. Sorry. I, it's like I can't see it in the... Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Uh, wish you were here. She is uh, at Target.com for $30.99. They kind of, like, the price kind of goes like this a little bit. I did not... Am I about to lie to you? I ran through Target numerous times the week before Christmas which is terrifying because of everything going on with the pandemic, but I needed to get stuff for my mom. And like, it was a variety of things that like the supermarket wouldn't just be enough. And also the supermarket scares me. Don't ask why my husband does the food shopping. So, uh, but I don't think I saw these. I saw so many, what I thought was funny is that I am still seeing so many of the music line on the shelves. I did see a lot of movie magic dolls, but so many of the music line. And I've said this before, and I will say it again. I think, so first of all, parents, if you did not get the music dolls last year, uh, the music theme dolls, like there was Kitty K and, and, and whatever the country, I mean, like, I love these dolls. They're, they're up in here in and about hidden behind stuff at this point. And they were so cool. And the movie Magic Dolls just, for me, didn't didn't hit the mark so much so that I donated two of the four without ever opening them. So I the one, the witchy one, and then uh, the other one, the hair. Yeah, so anyway, this is Fly Girl. These dolls uh, come with a doll, a stand, and 15 surprise accessories. And they're really, really cool. And I think she looks like Britney very much. And so I was talking in another video on my other channel, which I will link down below, a channel so creatively called Melissa Hunter. Also note that the boxes can be used as display stands, display areas, or play sets, or just backdrops, cool places to put your dolls. Like if your kids do like to display their dolls in the rooms, or the playroom, or your dining room, whatever. So uh, these are really fun. And I don't know. Oh, so on the other channel, uh, named which is called Melissa Hunter, because I'm very not creative, uh, I just was making a video as I was putting on my makeup. So you can watch me do this look in that video. And the 
in the video I was talking about Brittany. Brittany and I share a birthday. Now we were born 14 years apart on the same day, December 2nd. And you know, I don't know how much you put, it, you know, credence you give to astrology. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes it may, sometimes I'm like, wow, that's weird. And sometimes I'm like, I don't think that works at all. But it is interesting. Uh, and and I, could, I could make a whole scientific explanation for why people bur burn, why people burned at certain times of the year are the way they are. Why people born at certain times of the year are the way they are. There is a book by Malcolm Gladwell called Outliers that if you are not a firstborn son, I strongly recommend you do not read it. Um, and if you're not born in January and wishing to be a hockey player, also don't read it. But um, the, basics, the basic premise there is that when you're born, what time of year you are born in, and your birth order in your family, and all of those things make a difference in who you become and how your life plays out. And so that is a scientific explanation for astrology, right? So, but don't read the book because it will tick you off. I am the third born child, the only female, so I'm the youngest. I'm born in December. Mm -mm -mm. We just mm, it's deck stacked against me. On the other hand, I believe that Brittany is the oldest. Is she the oldest, but born in December? It's a lot of pressure on Brittany. So, but there are things about us that are similar and things about us that are extra, obviously extremely different. The heck, I've seen so many people fix this on, uh, you know, on Instagram. And I mean, what even is this? situation right here. I don't mind the bangs. Like, I just need to get rid of these. Ooh, actually, that kind of works. Ooh, ooh, okay. I'm a, I might, I might try to, uh, might try to finagle a way to do that, because that kind of works. If I brush them out, because they're just, I don't think, I don't think, I think they're supposed to be kind of like doing this more, and instead they're doing that. Uh, her curls, though, are lovely. Now, these are LOL OMG. These are not rainbow high. So Denisa Medrano is not working on these. Denisa Medrano, for those of you who don't know, is an amazingly gifted doll hair designer and in general doll, uh, you know, aesthetics designer. But really hair is her passion. And in the rainbow high dolls, you'll notice the, late, the, the more recent rainbow high dolls there's no gel in their hair, and that's Denisa. These are LOL OMG. There's gel making these curls happen. I don't hate it. Do I wish we had the Denisa touch here where these curls could be curly without being crunchy? And, and you know, like if I really wanted to, I could rinse it with warm water and restyle it, but this is me we're talking about this, so I'm not gonna happen. Um, I love this little outfit. It's very cute. I love the keyhole thing. So I'm going to make you laugh. I, the uh, Rainbow High is coming out with, I like this skirt. I like this little skirt. And, and notice we, we're not doing painted on leggings. These are, these are fabric. Yes. And I love these shoes. Ah, so let's get, let's get to her accessories here. You have a seat fly girl, Brittany. She's my Brittany doll. Come on. She's got snap knees, but she's not articulated other than, you know, wrists, elbows, and hands. But uh, she's not like a rainbow high where she's got articulated knees. So we're just gonna just have a seat right here. But that doesn't really work, does it? No, it really doesn't. So just just sit there and watch me do this, okay? Pfft. Sure, sure. I'll just sit here off camera because that's what Brittany loves. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, so I'm really excited for the Pacific coast rainbow high dolls that are coming out and i said this in my other video so i'm going to be repeating myself but guys i'm old i'm 54 now it's only going to go downhill from here as far as me repeating stories and repeating myself and not knowing what i'm talking about and uh so i'm very excited for them and check your departures it's time to fasten your seat belts it's time for a runway show okay 
so Rainbow High has apparently a sister school, brother school, person school, in sibling school in in uh, California is the idea. And these so this is all these 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 people are all going to have sort of you know coastal beachy fashion, LA fashion kind of vibes, and I'm very excited about it. I'm so excited about it that I decided that I want to try and do a look uh, for when I get them and. You should all be very worried because the looks never. But the point of that is, I was. I'll be. I'll be honest with you. It was. It was during Christmas. I was uh, probably drinking wine when I decided that as part of. So I've got this like floppy beach hat, and I was like, I want to be kind of wearing like a bathing suity, like halter type thing. Keep in mind, 54. Not. Not. Not a thin woman. I'm a. I'm a curvy girl, and I ordered on. Wait, let me get it. Let me just get it. <laughs> Wait a moment so we can all laugh together, okay? Some, you know, I hang out with, well, virtually hang out with like Elvira and Claudina. And, and uh, you know, I mean, their looks are just so good and they're so good at it, but they are considerably younger than me. We are like three different generations. They are many generations younger than I am. So, so this is what I ordered on Amazon. It's like a bikini halter top. Okay, wait, I don't think it goes like, yeah, it goes like this. And then it goes like, you know, around here. And it's got a push up function because <laughs> without support, the girls are on my belly. I sort of look like a fertility goddess at this point, And I don't mind that. I'm 54, it's what I'm supposed to look like. You know, like if I want to, that's fine. But anyway, I was clearly drinking when I said, oh, you know what, I'll wear this in the video. <laughs> right? Yeah, and I don't think so. <laughs> so I think it'll be more of a beachy cover-up situation. <laughs> and my husband looked at it like, hmm, what you got there? Anyway, <laughs> and I was like, nothing you're ever gonna see on me. <laughs> Although I should. I do want to try it on to see what it looks like, honestly. Maybe it's not as horrifying as I think it's going to be. Anyway, so. But what, what, we were like, what does that have to do with anything? It just kind of reminded me, like, of this look. Because it's got, like, she's got the collar and the sleeves and the keyhole top. And it's like a halter. And it looks really good on her. Oop, looks really good on her because she's a doll. I'm a doll of a different kind. Mm hmm so there we go let's put the stand together these do come with stands and they come with two different waist uh, huggers uh, because sometimes the dolls have thicker clothing and they need a wider waist hugger and then they come with a third waist hugger that is the same size as they give you a lot of waist huggers that's good we don't mind because those are things you lose right yep could you put me back up on the... Oh, sorry. It's not... That's not comfortable! Sorry. Here we go. All right. There. Just... No, no. Push me down. Okay. There you go. Problem solved. Some tea. All right. Let's plow through these accessories. So, she comes with this really adorable suitcase. Uh, much like I am extremely enamored with uh, doll laptops, I'm also really in love with rolling doll luggage. Like the only thing I bought from the American Girl Grace's, uh, and th there's a teeny tiny, there's a paper wrapped, very, very small. These are probably her earrings inside here. So be very careful when you open this because it is teeny tiny little earrings that are very, very cool. Uh, the only thing I bought from Grace's accessories, I think, was was her rolling luggage so that my American girls could have this pretty red rolling luggage. <laughs> I did not buy the $500 bakery set for some reason. Um, and I don't even know who the girl of the year is this year. I've like completely just lost interest i saw someone posted on instagram that they have kept all of their paper 
uh, from their dolls that they've been getting, and they used it in a, in a journal, kind of like a smash book. I don't even know if you guys know what a smash book is, of, of like all of their like their 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 doll wish lists, and and they used this, you know, to decorate it, and that was such a good use of stuff. Is where is this it? Like, this is me. I'm like, wait, 15 surprises. Oh, 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 okay, here we go. Did I lose anything else? Wait, wait. Did she only have one? Okay. All right. Sure. If you say so. <coughs> Sitting on my, you know, you sit on your leg. I don't usually do that when I film, but now I'm here. Okay. And my chair is gonna make funny noises. Okay, so this is an additional outfit piece or outfit, let's see. I think this is her coat, it's her travel coat. You know, I just rewatched while my mom was sick, I binged so many things, hours of us binging. Oh, how cute is this jacket? Oops, I dropped that. <gasps> oh, that's adorable. I, I rewatched Pan Am, which is a show that only had one season and then got canceled, but it was about the golden era of air travel uh, and the Pan American uh, stewardesses, because that's what they were called back then. They were not called flight attendants, and they had weigh-ins, and they had to wear a girdle, and it was all very, very, uh, it was a very interesting story, though. It was, it was a good show, good show. Kind of bummed that it, it is over. So now, let's dress her in her little jacket here. Oh God, that, oh, okay, the belt has the clippy thing. I can do the clippy thing. I'm like, if I have to thread this belt, it's not gonna happen. We're not gonna get, the, we still might not get the belt open or on. Okay, come on, come on. See, these were designed for children. I am not a child. I am only a child at heart, but I have really long fingernails and I can't feel my fingertips. And, and don't worry, I'm not cutting anything. I'm just using this to clamp the two edges and then pull. Ah, I did it. I can use tools. All right, oh cool, and this opens from the front so we don't have to do the buttons. Okay, let's get your hair out of the way. Now there, oh, I forgot to show you her pretty pink nails. I'm still not showing you her pretty pink nails. There we go, pretty pink nails. I have cool abstract nails. I'm done with the holiday nails for the season. I'm done, I'm done. I wanted something kind of abstracty and fun to be wearing on New Year's Eve. So what are you doing New Year's Eve? I am going to hopefully be right here with my family and everyone will be healthy and still alive. You know, it's the little things you wish for. Uh, and uh, yeah, we don't usually go, go anywhere on New Year's Eve anyway. So not since we had not since we had Caden. When we were younger, we used to go out and we would go out to a fancy dinner and the whole thing and, you know, get all dressed up and then, you know, wear the hat and, you know, blow the thing and do the whole, the whole thing. Uh, but we don't do that anymore because we have, we have a kid and we like to be home with our kid on New Year's Eve. So, and we, we still make Caden come downstairs and watch the ball drop with us and I make us all hold hands and I have a thousand and one superstitions around New Year's Eve. Okay, I'm going to put, I'm just getting her jacket on and uh, I don't know, one day, I may have already told you guys in a previous year what, how I met my husband and what that has to do with New Year's Eve and superstitions. So, but I don't know if I did or not. So I may tell you again someday. All right, so I've got the jacket on. So now, now she's flight attendant. No, she's pilot Brittany because she's got the headset. And her name is not Brittany. Her name is Fly Girl. I'm a fashion doll, it says on her. You know, don't define her. Let her define herself. Is she a fashion doll? Is she a pilot? She's like, I'm a, I'm a test pilot. Yeah. There you go. I'm trying to get the belt on. I'm trying to get the belt. I knew this was going to be a problem. This is when I miss Caden, when there's really t teeny tiny little things like this to do. It's not the only time I miss Caden. It's just, you know, it was handy to have a person with small fingers and, and someone who could feel their hands. Okay, now let's get this on. See, and now this is where it becomes very Brittany to me because this looks 
so much like something that I've seen on her. I think Claudina did a, a, a maybe a TikTok about it or a Reels or something. Okay, that's not working the way I want it to. All right, that's gonna take a little zhuzhing to get this on her ear, yet not mess up her earrings. So anyway, so there's a hat. <laughs> it's not supposed to look like that. I don't, I don't understand. It's supposed, so it's supposed to be more forward on her head. It's like a little tiny hat. And I love me a tiny hat. We know that, right? So now if we put the tiny hat and we line this up with her ear like this, right? And then we take this and this doesn't work. It, it, it just, I really want this to work too, but it doesn't matter because it's never going to look like the box unless I redo her hair. This is what it's supposed to look like. Okay. So it's not, her hair is not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look like that. And then if I get it to look like that, and so it lays down, then I can get this hat to sit at the front of her head the way it's supposed to, because it's supposed to be like here, but because her bangs are so 1985, I cannot do that. So I may have to enlist the help of my son and say, wash, wash it, make it work for me. But I do like the outfit very much. So here she is without without I mean I don't see that there's 15 surprises did I miss something here <laughs> surprise that doesn't come with it kids <laughs> hot pink bustier sold separately did I miss something did I drop something I don't know I'm very confused so anyway, this is Fly Girl, and uh, the other three doll, other two dolls in the collection are City Babe and blah, 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 Sunset, and I'm very excited about Sunset. Very very excited. Uh, so, but I'm excited about all three of these dolls. I think this was a really cool cool line. I actually like these better than the movie dolls. So, mm. uh, I like her. She just needs a little a little help. I, the earrings are cute. This does have a very retro feel at the same time having a modern feel, at the same time having a Britney vibe. I never talked about her makeup. It's very simple. It's very pink and blue. It goes with the whole outfit. I think she's cute. I think she's cute. I'm sitting here wondering right now if she's worth $32. But we're going to have to reframe that question in the coming year because the cost of petroleum is one of the big influencers in the cost of making dolls because dolls are made out of plastic and petroleum is the core building block of plastic. And so there's that, uh, there's that cost. And then getting these dolls to the United States uh, is ridiculously, was ridiculously expensive. Things are loosening up with the transportation and the container crisis. But the one thing that I know now, having lived for a long time, is that when prices on something like a doll go up because of inflation in the economy and costs going up for the manufacturer, even when the costs come down for the manufacturer, which petroleum will come down, the shipping and container crisis will get back to normal, they never lower the prices again. So, but I still feel like, like I'm looking at this doll, like if this doll had been $24.99 and this were a year ago, would I be saying, I don't know, is it really worth that? I mean, she's cute. I feel like I lost stuff. Like maybe I lost stuff. So I'm gonna open another one and see if they have 15 surprises. That's my plan. And then I will make my determination. All right, let's open Sunset, new video. Let's figure out if I messed this up, okay? Until then, I love you guys so much. Thank you for your patience with me. Thank you for continuing to watch me. I will see you guys again in a little bit. I am gonna try to review as much as I can until I have to go run my errands for my mom. I love you guys so much. See you again real soon.
拜。